Afternoon everybody, hope you're well. Classic 80s fanboy here. Now, I make no apologies, but uh, it has been a while since I've last recorded um, a video like this, so please bear with me. I'd just like to show off my birthday present to myself. I had some money for my birthday, so I went and bought this. I did uh, talk about it on my last live stream that I did but uh, now I want to take a, look, a little bit look at it in a little bit more detail but unfortunately because of the size of this thing um, this thing is about I'd say about two and a half to three foot, foot high um, just to give an example I'll put my hand in front of the camera so you can see that's how big it is it's, it's bigger than my hand here apologies for the paint on my hands but did that work? Um, so there, that's how big it is. So I can only just about fit it in the screen, and I've got the camera quite a way back. Um, yeah, so this was a good price on Amazon, so I thought I'd buy it. I'm not going to go into do too many details about it because of the fact that everybody else has bought one and probably done a review of it. Um, but I just like to show it off basically because I think it's that good of a toy and display piece. It's in my room, it's in my room and it stays closed like this at the moment because of the fact that due to space it stays like that. When I open it out you'll see how big it is and how wide it is. Um, and there we go. If you hear squeaking upstairs, creaking upstairs, that's my wife walking about in her office. She's working from home, she has been for the past two years. And there we are, that's all I have to say about that. But uh, yeah, I've got uh, He-Man there on... Um... He-Man there. On Cringer, known as Battle Cat. Just for display purposes, just to show you what the size of it is. I did go through He-Man last time, but uh, Battle Cat is brand new and I'll go through it on a different date, on a different video. So first off, you're looking at about two, two and a half foot wide. Um, you're opening a door here, which is different from the, slightly different from the original, but it still works. You take your man's sword out of his hand. Pop it inside. And there we go. The door comes down to Castle Grayskull. Now I haven't opened it up yet, but you've got all the accessories inside. I'll have to go through that in a minute. But as you can see, it's a lot bigger door than the original, because the original, uh, the door was a bit, a lot smaller, and the teeth are a lot bigger. But you still can't fit He-Man and Battle Cat on the outside there because it's just too big. So what I'll do is I'll close it up again and I'll show you the back quickly. That's the back of it. not too much in detail but it's got a nice colour to it um, it's got more I'd say it's got more detail than the original um, Castle Grayskull and the way you open it is you've got two hooks on the side the plastic hook so you be careful when you open it up and close it you have to be gentle with it open it up like that if you don't you'll easily slap these little bits on the inside because they're only plastic as well okay so I move Battle Cat out of the way and He-Man to this side. Just give you an opening. Let's get a top text tumble. Open there. I'll move it across a little bit because it's not exactly in camera. There we go, that's much better. I'll take care of the sorceress off. She is part of the uh, 
accessories as well. An extra figure. It's the one that everybody wants because she's white. She's a plain white figure. But absolutely stunning in looks. There we go. And she's all dressed in white. And Hasbro have done a really good job of that. Not Hasbro, Mattel, sorry. There. So I put her to one side, be on the back. Get some of these accessories out. And there we go. The accessories. Um, they're a lot smaller than the originals, but they're a lot more chunkier, as you can see. But holds fewer weapons. You can see there. And then they put an extra one in as well. Shaped like an eagle. With shelves. You can put your accessories and weapons on there. The training thing is now really thickened up they've made it even chunkier and they're gonna look at a boar's head on one side and a fist on the other that fist is now probably designed to hold have a weapon in it um, so we can do that here and there we go we can have a weapon in it so when it spins, something even more for training purposes to fight at. So I'll pop that down there a minute. Pop that in there. Okay, so have you noticed now is that there's more levels to Castle Grayskull now. There's more, the levels are now there's more of them you've got one two three levels and these protrude out more so you can get more figures the figures properly standing on the top um, so I'll give you an example there are pick holes there for the figures to stand on there we go they're a lot more steady as well the sources at the top there man in the gun these can swap over, you've got the, the flag. It's got a huge peg on the peg hole on the underside, so you can just peg in there. And still has the original stickers of the flag, so it can be moved in either direction. And that just easily pops up on there. There, where the ladders have been made thicker, I have a thicker material, thicker plastic, and so a lot more sturdier. So there's less chance of them snapping, but there are holes now where you can put the ladders and set the ladders on. The sticker for the dungeon is still down the bottom there. It's slightly smaller than the original. But it does the job still just as well. Um, these used to be cardboard components and now fully fat plastic and they sit proudly on each of the levels. This trapdoor chair has got the original sticker on it and still works just as well. So when you turn the chair does drop there you go it drops and the uh, lift now I've heard that the lift um, let's just try it and put Skeletor in there 
we'll have to get a tool. See if that works. Pull it up. Up to the top, and it stays up the top. this at an angle because it should drop up there so there we go now let's get the tools there at the top of the ladder it's not collapsing now um, so that's basically it that's it all working and all up um, when you want to collapse it Obviously, take your figures off. And you move this down. You want to make sure that the uh, lift is all the way down. Just get onto all the way. You put all your weapons back where, they, where you feel where you want them. So I should put that in there. Have that in the corner there and usually I keep this what I do is move that into there put that into there move the sword out of the way move him in out the ladder needs to be in as well don't leave the ladder out because you're likely to snap it so some, generally I'll just leave the ladder like that and when you close it, be very careful again. Move the sorceress out. Just the top there. Make sure that when you put it together, you line the holes up correctly. Give it a little bit of a push. And move the Back up. Get the saucers back. Obviously, there's a the carry handle at the back there to carry it. And pop the saucers back in there. So, there it is, all back together again. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please give it a like and a big thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.